Hello, everybody. We are back doing some more stuff for our diesel powered C10. Now we're doing the tough stuff with the man of the hour himself, Diesel cool. Dave. We've got our crankshaft on the lathe, and we got to turn it down so we could fit this bad boy in it. This is the input sun gear for the C10, and we got to let it rip. This is the hard part of everything. We did all the measuring last time around, so now we just got to let her rip. Um, could probably do a normal shop lathe, but this is no normal shop lathe, is it not, Diesel Dave? No, it's not. It's... This is Gramps' five trillion year old in the collapsing barn uh, South Bend. So it takes a special touch. Yeah, so like everything else on the Gravely, I really doubt this... Um, this diameter is exactly three quarters of an inch. Hell yeah, Diesel Dave, I see you were calibrated in 2009. Weave! It's probably better than any of the hazard fraught tools that I typically use. Cutting it down to, this is the diameter, and you're cutting it in 1.7 and change. 7.48. That sounds like an interference fit for 0.75. Can you get me a keyway? <coughs> Yeah, I would imagine. Safety glasses check. What are those? OSHA? Never heard of it. Yeah, that's what I thought, Diesel Dave. Just a mess. Out of cow calipers, no safety glasses. Tell you what, the place that I got this quoted to, to do the machine work, they're full of it. Oh, hardened crankshaft. Hardened crankshaft my ass. Not this Chinese, you know, eh, Diesel Dave? Oh, you know what? You can see the uh, the spindles got some run out. Run out on Gramps' lathe. That came out of the high school. Get a load of that. She warbled. Factory. Me. I mean, if you see how like haphazardly they hogged it out for the Gravely motors, the the Kohlers, it's it looks about the same. Hmm. That's just going into brass bushing too. It's not like you'll eat that. So we're at 840. Hmm. Getting there. It's like halfway. Boy, it's cold in here. What? Warm in here. You can see your breath, my man. So? I mean, I'm cold. Oh, I feel cold. You can start a fire in the sugar arch. You gotta start a fire with all this wood in your lathe. One hot chip away from a nice little tinderbox. Yeah, cramps for you. I can imagine what he was turning in. Mint. It's not terrible. That's yeah, that isn't awful. It could be better. I'm sure there's some like crankshaft spec for run out and it's something like two thousand. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like past ten though. Just how it was warbling. Oh, beautiful. That was a calibrated wood tap. One master machine. Oh yeah, with the 150 grit sandpaper. So Diesel Dave came up with a pretty good idea, and he just cut like a little, little teeny cut for like the very last pass, just to be sure that we'd maintain our press fit. That way you don't hog it all out. And turns out that uh oh, you know, can't put any of that back. So now it goes. You know, you can see where he cut a wee bit too much maybe for the gear. That'll be fine for the planetary. But we still got probably like a perfect fit there, which is just cherry. Since this is supposed to be instructive, why don't you take a caliper measurement of the of the width right there? Since it's not exactly three quarters like I thought and like the shaft is. So 0. 0.76 basically. Yeah, 759. I mean, you can squeeze up on it a little bit. So be careful if you're planning to just rip it all the way down to uh, 0 0.75. Take a, you know, take special care to not be doing it like I always end up doing. <laughs> Perfect, just the way I asked for it. Like I said, it doesn't go quite on, but then we have a little bit larger diameter in there, which is perfect. It's gonna make it super nice. We don't have a keyway, and I'm feeling cheap, so I'm just gonna Dremel in a keyway. And um, on the original one, the keyway grabbed a lot of it. So that's where a lot of our press is. And um, before anyone says in the comments, this is a C10 sun gear, not a C10A. 
we are using a C10 Planetary. So this will work well for your Model L or your C10, or you could change them out like I did. But anyway, let's do the keyway. All right, so we took the Dremel to this bad boy. Over here we got our keyway. And it just barely fits down in there. I think we gotta go a little deeper. Hold up. It's riding. There she goes. Too bad I gotta pull it out again. <laughs> Cause I gotta, you know, assemble it. Oh, you got a three jaw puller at your- I do have a three jaw puller, but it might be easier to just do it right here while it's clamped up and you have an acetylene torch. All right, so there it goes. We got our gear hammered all the way into our shaft. Things weren't too pretty with that, um, with that Dremel. It pokes out a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna be too bad. And in the end, we got it on. Fortunately, I gotta take it right back off again to assemble it, but I wanted to be sure that we had it all together. So there you go. If you got a lathe on hand and you want to make one of these adapters for a like C10 or newer Gravely, there you go. That's how you make it happen. Shoots.